I gave him vanilla ice cream <laughs> with glass in it. Costumes aren't always the spookiest things about October 31st. Here are the 20 scariest things found in Halloween candies. Razor blades. 2.3 thick inches, baby. Shift wax. We've all heard the old wives' tale about razor blades being stuck into apples on Halloween, but could there possibly be any truth to it? Uh, you tell me. Well, according to several professors, a good majority of the cases we hear about are more likely the result of a hoax than the actions of some malicious neighbor. But that doesn't mean it hasn't happened before. One of the first reported cases comes from 1968, when 13 separate children reported finding razor blades stuck in apples they had received while trick-or-treating in New Jersey. But that being said, apples are far from the only treat that has been used to carry razor blades. In 2015, a boy in Ohio took a bite out of his Snickers bar, but quickly stopped chewing when he discovered the blade from a disposable razor in amongst his chocolate. It may be a popular story, but there's definitely a reason why we've heard it before. So just to be safe, always be sure to examine any Halloween candy before indulging. Getting the Halloween munchies. Oh, just some brownies of the pot variety. In the year 2000, an innocent postal worker uncovered a bag of what he thought were Snickers bars in the dead letter office. Figuring that he couldn't let the candy go to waste, he brought them home to distribute to kids on Halloween. Once the children got the Snickers bars home, however, parents were a little stunned to find their children unwrapping their candy to find a substance that was only legal for medicinal purposes in California at the time instead of chocolate. Give it to mama. Mama don't want this. Nobody was hurt, fortunately, although some vague reports of the details did cause quite a panic amongst parents. Teenage pests. Oh, Clark. That's Buster's dog food. Big kids may be kids too, but in 1964, one Helen Fell made the decision to rob any child she deemed too old for trick-or-treating of their fun. Under the guise of a practical joke, Fell put together bags that could easily be mistaken for candy, though these bags contained things like dog biscuits, steel wool, and arsenic ant poison. Oh my god, so gross! <laughs> She handed these bags out to 12 teenagers, and five of them were discovered before the night was out. Both the police and the judge presiding over her case were horrified by her claim that she had intended it to be a joke, and Fell ultimately pleaded guilty to child endangerment. Needles Where are my knitting needles? Razor blades are far from the only sharp object that's been found embedded into Halloween candies. Needles have a habit of turning up as well. One of the best documents cases of this comes from Minneapolis, where 49-year-old James Joseph Smith handed out Snickers bars with needles stuck in them for Halloween in the year 2000. Why? Fortunately, no one was seriously injured, and only one teenager pricked his mouth while eating the candy bar, though Smith was charged with one count of distributing a substance with intent to cause death, harm, or illness. Then again in 2018, two children in Massachusetts discovered sewing needles hidden inside Twizzler candies. And in 2021, police in Ohio were forced to send out a citywide warning after sewing needles were found pressed inside two separate Kit Kats. In other words, sewing needles are by far the easiest type of sharp object to conceal, and soft treats like chocolate or licorice make for especially easy targets. It can be super handy to keep tips like this in mind when checking over your child's candy. And remember, if something doesn't feel right, make sure to get it out of your mouth right away. Trick or treating, breaking bad style. I am not in danger, Skylar. I am the danger. Sometime after Halloween 2014, an eight year old girl in California reached into her trick or treating bag seeking a rock candy and was instead surprised to find a similar looking illegal substance amongst her stash. Her parents confessed that they had no way of knowing who could be responsible or whether or not it had been done intentionally, but they stressed the importance of always at least taking a look at your child's candy before allowing them to eat it. Always remember that. After all, a parent will just always be a little bit more aware of anything that looks a little off than a child would. Planting Pixie Sticks Candyman 
Dubbed the Candyman by his fellow inmates in prison, Ronald Clark O'Brien is a real-life Halloween horror. In 1974, an eight-year-old boy died after eating a poisoned pixie stick, only for it to later be discovered that it had been the boy's own father who killed him as a part of a life insurance scheme. What? To cover his tracks, O'Brien had also distributed the poisoned pixie stick out to at least four other children, but police were able to recover these candies before anyone else consumed one. Ronald O'Brien received the death penalty, and he was executed in 1984. Bullets. Oh, hey. I found a bullet. An Ohio mother received a bit of a shock in 2014 when she discovered three 22 caliber bullets in her four-year-old son's box of milk duds. Milk dud? <laughs> Oh, I love milk duds. The more disturbing part of this story, however, is that the boy hadn't gotten the candy from a stranger, but from a trick-or-treating event held at his preschool. The candy that was distributed at this event was not supplied by the school, but came from the parents of the other students. And so it is possible that it may have been some sort of targeted attack. A lesson in candy testing. Wow! Children! Good Children. candy! Good candy! This is good candy. Sometimes it pays to have someone check your food for you. In 2013, a mother in California decided to dip into her daughter's trick-or-treating supply for some chocolate, and shortly thereafter began to notice symptoms of severe anxiety followed by feelings of euphoria. When this began to fade into an awful, sick feeling, she decided to dig out the candy wrapper to check its list of ingredients. But instead of finding a potential allergen, what she saw was a tiny pinprick-shaped hole in the back. Call an ambulance, Gustav! At that point, she rushed herself into the hospital, only to find that there was evidence of a popular psychedelic in her system. While the mother suffered no long-term side effects, it's impossible to predict how devastating the results may have been had her daughter been the one to eat the chocolate bar. And so it just goes to show you that your parents are actually looking out for you when they steal a bite of your candy. Laxatives I've got protein paste, carb laxative, Dentists are known for suggesting that children try to find alternative treats besides the sugary sweets around Halloween. And yet in 1959, one dentist from California took an unusual approach to this by handing out candy-coated laxatives. He distributed roughly 450 of these candies throughout the night and ended up making 30 kids sick as a result. Ugh, I made a mistake. Parents tracked the candy back to one William Shine, but by then he had already skipped town, only to later turn himself in to the police to be charged with outrage of public decency. To this day, nobody entirely knows why he decided to do it. Rusty Nails Oh, hold that thought. Two young boys were sharing from their Halloween loot in Washington back in 2014 when one of the boys felt something sharp poking the inside of his cheek. Upon investigating further, he uncovered a rusty nail pressed into the chocolate of the candy bar he'd been eating. Ah! Fortunately, the boy was not seriously injured, but encouraged his friend to check the rest of the candy in his bag, just in case there was anything else. Upon turning the loot over to the friend's mother, she discovered several pieces of metal inside multiple candy bars, including staples and bits that appeared to have been taken from inside a watch. An expensive mistake. One million dollars. We all understand that mistakes happen, but there are some that can cost you more than others. In 2012, 23-year-old Donald Jr. Green of Northern England was handing out Halloween candy at his girlfriend's house when he accidentally mistook a handful of plastic bags containing an illicit party substance for Haribo gummy bears and handed them out to three children ages 8, 6, and 5. Green had apparently purchased the substance earlier that same day, and upon recognizing his mistake, stake, he immediately began searching the streets for the children. Fortunately for everyone involved, the children had not consumed the substance, but unfortunately for Green, the children had been trick-or-treating with their father, who was an off-duty police officer and who recognized the substance for what it was and alerted his co-workers. Oops. Green was arrested and forced to pay a fine and court fees for the mistake, as well as serving 130 hours of community service for drug possession. Shards of glass. They're made of glass. 
A woman in New York discovered a shard of glass embedded in her daughter's Tootsie Roll after trick-or-treating with her in 2014. Hey, there's glass in my food! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What kind of restaurant is this? Fortunately enough, the glass was spotted before anyone could seriously injure themselves, but it may be worth mentioning that Tootsie Rolls are one of the easiest candies to tamper with due to their easily replaceable wrapper, and so you may want to be a little extra watchful around those. Mysterious Blister Pack Blue pill or red pill? What'll it be, bro? Two Canadian children uncovered something completely foreign in their trick-or-treating stash on Halloween 2015, a blister pack full of unknown pills. One child then proceeded to take a bite out of their Snickers bar, only to discover that someone had pushed an individual pill into the chocolate. Can anyone guess the secret ingredient? Although the parents of the children were able to find plenty of evidence of tampering, they were unable to identify what exactly the pills were. Although they did identify the markings APO on the blister pack, suggesting that it may have been some sort of prescription medication. Christmas lights. Yeah, I thought this was made out of candy. A mother in Arkansas was horrified to uncover a pack of Christmas lights while checking her young son's candy after trick-or-treating. How is that even possible? I don't know. Nothing makes sense anymore. Fortunately, the Christmas lights never even made it into her son's hands because of his mother's thoroughness, but if they had, there's a good chance that he may have mistaken the brightly colored bulbs for candy and taken a bite of glass instead. Exacto Blades That's not a knife. That's a knife. As recently as 2021, an eight-year-old girl in Florida cut her mouth on an X-Acto knife blade that had been pushed into the chocolate of a 100 grand bar. Wanna know how? How? According to the girl's mother, she had checked to make sure that the bar was properly wrapped and sealed, but was unable to find anything wrong with it, which just goes to show how sneakily these types of things can be hidden. Motion Sickness Medication I'll grab my motion sickness pills. A mother in Arizona discovered an open bottle of over-the-counter pills in amongst her daughter's trick-or-treating finds. There were six pills remaining in the bottle, and although the medication is considered to be perfectly safe for adults to take, it can cause hallucinations and even seizures when ingested by children. That sounds bad. It is bad. It's just lucky that the girl's mother got to her candy stash before she did and recognized the pills for what they were. Otherwise, the results may have even been fatal. Thumbtacks. Thumbtack book. That was my thumbtack book. A teenager in Michigan reported finding a thumbtack pressed into their Tootsie Roll after trick-or-treating on Halloween in 2018. The child's mother, Tanya Benninger, posted a picture of the thumbtack concealed in the very center of the candy, along with the caption, It was my kid. I wish it was bull. It was in a big sealed Tootsie Roll. I've been a mom for 23 years. I've never seen anything bad until tonight. Unacceptable! Glad my 17-year-old found it and not the 11-year-old. This is yet another example of the importance of checking that Halloween candy, especially for the younger kids. Lighters. Hey, you got a lighter? Fire is most definitely one thing that children should not be playing with, and yet somehow lighters keep winding up in kids' candy sacks around Halloween time. Again and again and again. While there have yet to be any reports of a child being seriously injured by a lighter that they found while trick-or-treating, that doesn't mean that parents don't have a reason to be concerned if they find one in their child's bag. Wedding ring. You can tell my diamond ring. Oh, honey, that's candy. While it's always possible that the ring may have served as a choking hazard for some kid, this entry honestly sounds more inconvenient for the one losing it than the one doing the finding. In 2014, a Boston woman's gold and diamond wedding ring slipped into the candy bag of some unknown trick-or-treater. Apparently, the ring had fallen off her finger while she was carving pumpkins with her daughter. And though she turned to ABC News in hopes that someone may be able to help her find it, there's been no word on whether or not the anonymous trick or treater returned it or not. Fingers crossed. So if you're planning on being the one to hand out candy this year, just make sure to check you still have all your valuables with you. Insects. What? what? 
For those of you whose Halloween fears include anything creepy and crawly, you may be horrified to hear that some of your favorite sweets around this time of year are actually made out of bugs. For instance, candy corn is often given its waxy texture using a type of resin secreted by beetles. Red candies are often dyed using carmine, which is made through a process of grinding up cochineal insects, and according to the FDA, an average of eight insect parts are found within every chocolate bar. Ew. Ugh, gross, right guys? That being said, insects are more or less safe to consume, and so the only real reason to be concerned is if you have specific dietary <laughs> needs, like an allergy, or if you're vegan. I'm a vegan, of course. Slowly working towards full freaking vegan.